Commander. Hello and welcome. We join this rank game in progress. We have just managed to kill the enemy's suicide in Z23. We're about to lose our suicide in Albemarle, and the enemy Friesland hasn't spotted at the B cap. The rest of the enemy team is kind of bunched up behind the C cap here, and I see an opportunity to kind of take advantage of this Friesland who has no smoke right now and gain some free real estate. He is trying to escape detection, and I have a good spotting margin on him right now, about 0.9 kilometers. So as long as he's going to keep running, I'm happy to stay unspotted and not shooting, and just keep chasing him back and turn this flank and kind of just push him back into his team. The two biggest things I'm worried about are one, him turning and catching me flat-footed and getting close enough to use his hydro and smoke against me once he has his smoke back. The other thing I'm worried about is the carrier isolating me. I want to be able to keep a big enough gap between me and the Friesland and be able to uh, maneuver around and keep a carrier from dropping me accurately. And I also do have a smoke ready in reserve in case I do need it in case of an emergency that I need to break detection from either the Friesland or the carrier. You could see he got frustrated enough by me chasing that he started to blind fire me. The other thing I noticed is there's planes coming here. I think he was uh, vectoring planes towards me, telling the CV that I'm here. I intentionally fire right before my smoke covers me so that the CV kind of has a place to drop me. And then as soon as I see him to start coming, I accelerate and get out of there, messing up his drop and wasting his time. I then leave the smoke and try and get as far away from it as possible in case the Friesland decides to turn back on me or the CV tries to come and drop me or perma spot me. I want to be far enough away they're not going to be able to detect me. Now look at all the room I have gained our team. Look how far back I have pushed this flank. This keeps our A and B caps relatively safe for a time being. We've been ticking up points the entire time and now this is space that the enemy team is going to have to come back through to be able to contest A and B, adding more time on and giving us more points. And I'm still full health. The Friesland took a bunch of damage from the Tashkent from me spotting him. I didn't get to put out any damage here, but I didn't take any damage. So for zero damage, we have gained a lot of space. We have got the Friesland damaged a little bit. We are now keeping them perma spotted back here. Even though I haven't put out any damage, I have given my team a lot of value for this play. And before I go, yes, I am needling the CV in chat. He has focused me about half of his drops this game so far and has missed every single one of them. He's a good CV player, so I don't mind needling him and trying to put him on tilt a little bit here. I've got a lot of room to maneuver, so if he wants to come and chase me a little bit, go for it. Anyways, I hope some of you found this useful, and we'll catch you next time.